Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, Jado Beginners. Okay, so... Most of y'all are gonna have the two-speed transmission that comes stock with the Jado. And... I will go over that when I do my drag car build or rebuild. But... I wanna say this now. Uh, if you're just beginning with your Jado, uh, they're a little fast and they accelerate pretty quick. And they're really, the two speed transmission is really difficult to uh, understand and also to maintain. They do break sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. And they're not exactly cheap. Uh, they're not expensive, but they're not cheap. Now, a cheaper option, uh, one that's not going to go s nearly as fast and that's just easier to understand and work on, is buying the optional part, the uh, single-speed transmission, which is, there is a Traxxas part, I think Hot Racing also made one, or does still make a single-speed transmission. Uh, they're basically the same, I think. I could be wrong. Someone probably knows. But... Um, to explain this, we're going to start with your first shaft. Now, this is a shaft that your slipper clutch, uh, sits on. I'll explain this in the last video. Your slipper clutch goes on here. So, when you're hitting the throttle on your engine, that goes from, the power goes from your clutch to your your engine's clutch to the slipper clutch to this sh shaft. Okay? Now, ooh, get that out of the picture. Kinda. Alright. Now, you want to make sure that you have these option parts set up or put together correctly. You can flip these around. Just remember, you have your spacer, your First shaft's gear faces this way, and then your second shaft's gear set faces this way. These are both held in with these tiny hex pins. Just make sure that they're in there all the way, and then that's sticking out on either side. Um, other than that, just make sure that they're going the right way. These two mate. This guy spins, spins this, okay, and then this gear connects with your differential. I'll be doing a separate video on how to fill the differential and how it goes together here in a bit, but then that spins that gear, so boop, boop, and boop. Now I will show you, or sh yeah, I'll show you me putting this together, so... <clears throat> The shaft goes in here. Make sure that you have your bearings in here, that they're good, that they rotate, that they aren't dirty. Make sure uh, every time that you go to put this together that you wipe this out with like a paper towel or something. Spray it, wipe it down, because these will get filled with a little bit of grime. And if you break some gears off, there'll be teeth in here. You want to get that all out so that you don't fault your new gears. Uh, yeah, so that goes in that side like that. Okay, and then you have this gear that'll set up in there. So as you see, this gear, once this is all put together nice and square, this gear rotates that gear, which then goes to your differential. Okay? So you got this half, you got this half. You kind of just want to make sure everything's lined up. Push it through. Boom. Boom together. Now you gotta bolt those all together. Give me a second while I get the bolts out. Okay, so you're gonna need your 2 millimeter hex driver. You may have just the plain Allen keys. You need your 2 millimeter one. You're gonna have three of these 10 millimeter long bolts and they go Goes here. Boop. My dog is whining to go outside. I'll let her out in a little bit. 
One goes there. One goes here. Let me see if I can show you that better. Not the right one. This one is. And then the last one goes down here. Now, it's important that if you're going to take this apart, that you at least remove one of the bolts from this anti-squat block. I mean, you can remove the whole thing if you want. Give me a second. Ugh. Salamander kicking on. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway. You gotta make sure that you remove at least one of these, or both of these, uh, when you put the anti-squat black anti-squat block back on. Make sure that it goes the right way or to where the holes are facing this way, because if your holes are facing this way, you're not going to be able to get your A-arms back on. So, the only thing to remember with these bolts is not to tighten them down too much. Just tighten them down so that they're flush, because if you over-tighten them, they will thread into the inside of your case. And that's not good because then they can be poking up, hitting gears, and causing damage. So if you look in there, um, give me a second. And y'all fell over. My bad. If you look in here with our handy dandy flashlight, yeah, you can see that I have poked through on the one. So I'll have to loosen that up. And then that other one, you just really want to make sure that these guys are flush. Now, if you get this brand new, you probably won't punch through it. But if you have bought a used Jado, it is very possible to punch through it. You can also try and just use shorter bolts. But you may run into not having enough in there and then it pulling apart. Okay, yeah, now you can't, you can't see the top of that bolt. Like I said, you just want these flush or just out just enough so that you're not messing up your gears okay next part we're going to talk about getting your brake on here um i'm going to need your two and a half millimeter to remove the brake i'm um, putting it back on so this is kind of weird i like to start by putting these two metal discs on one screw and then it'll you just have them on there and I, I wouldn't tighten this up all the way because that's your adjustment make sure that it's you know fairly and it's in there but you're not going past that block which needs to go that way Block. This arm controls, pushes that block in and out. Give me a second. Boop. Okay. So as this pushes that, it pushes the block out. See? That's how your brakes work on your Jado. Oh, man. Okay. So, you're going to want your brake disc. There are different types I'll break discs you can get. I know Hot Racing makes your dual steel and carbon fiber break disc. I have that on my drag Jado. I can show that to you here in a second. Uh, those do help, but it's not completely necessary. Setting up, making sure you have just new break discs and those metal pads help a lot. Now this guy, you need this part, it's like your slipper clutch where it has that pin that goes in this shaft. Where did I put that pin? Okay, I'm gonna, yeah. So, pin, 
in shaft like so then you got your brake disc hub put that on there make sure it goes on there sometimes you have to like my bad let's get this sometimes you have to like nudge the pin to where it then sets it's got that on there take this guy put them on here what you have to do is take this take one of your pads slide it up and then take this guy coming at an angle put them underneath that pad and then you can put this on this is not wanting to go on there easily as this is new with old oh, come on gotta put a little bit of pressure maybe maybe not maybe yours will just go together very well there we go make sure it's kind of level I push it back and forth there you go you get a new pad it might be a little bit of a no oh, dang it Can I get that up See that's the problem. You need, I needed that up. Dang it! See, I'm struggling too. Oh boy, that really. Okay, as long as that's, you know, the right shape. There we go. Okay. So now that you got your two. Uh, pads on you can put that other bolt through there but before you do that you need to put your e-clip on this guy to keep it all from falling apart on you the e-clip goes on just like your slipper clutch oh come on yeah, you want to go on. This is harder to do when you got a camera in your face. Come on. Guys, you're about to see me get frustrated. Which it's never great. I'm working on RC cars. There we go. I got it on finally. <coughs> oh, my tires just fell. That's great. Just great. Things are perfect in my little garage. Okay. Back to this guy. Okay. You got this on. Slide this over. And then you need to put this bolt in. Boop. This video is going to be fairly long. Hopefully I can cut it down in editing. Try to keep it under the 10 or so minutes of my almost 14 minutes right now now you wanna push these all back together with your finger and then tighten these bolts up till they touch the pad all right so hopefully that all spins lightly you may need to loosen it just a little bit. You don't want to over tighten this because you'll bend the pads, which I think I have done previously. But you want to make sure that this, yeah, there you go. You want to make sure that this all rotates freely. Yeah, there we go. And then when you pull on this, that it pushes out. 
Watch. Your brake lever activates, pushes, it pushes your brakes. Boop, boop, brakes. Okay. And that is how you put your transmission together. Yippee-ki-yay. We're done.